Welcome back to the vlog. I'm about to get ready to get some wash pop. Wash these clothes. Leah had a bag of clothes she wanted me to wash for her. So I'm about to go ahead and get it done. A dollar. These a dollar and up. These should be a dollar. These right here, $2.99. Which one the best you have? This one the babies? For me. For you? You, you got need the soft bottom too, bro? Right up these here. soft. I don't, I don't but these a dollar right here. Hold on. It's just you? Yeah. These a dollar right here. And these are soft right here. That's good for the old people's teeth. Yeah, my own. Um, I'm going to be coming to buy her two brushes. Okay. That's soft right there. They're a dollar. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. You. You're welcome, love. So, get ready, ready to do this vlog, y'all. With this laundry. Um, today is a good day. Thank God for everything he has done for me and my beautiful children. I appreciate everything. This is what I need right here. That's 110 for 279. Ain't bad at all. But the kids will make a honk a donk a mess out of it. I should have got some of these. Well, we're going to see if they got the box. They got music playing, so I'm going to put music over the video, but y'all be able to hear me on this part. And so enjoy the water. Washing powder. So everything will be quiet from this point because you know you can hear me. So I'm going to get some of this. And then I need some more. I got some bleach here. That one feels not heavy. I need some of this too. You know, I should have grabbed a damn buddy, right? I didn't. Juice is going to one ninety nine. Crazy to me. Oh my god, I gotta sit this down somewhere. Get the kids some popcorn. Tell somebody banging on something. <laughs> Come on, love. Let me tell you something. Mm, excuse me. Early in the morning, these old people want to talk. The lady said, I just moved down here and I'm down here, blah, 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 blah. And she said, ever since they changed the gun law, it been a lot of killing going on, a lot of people dying. Cause I ain't know what's going on down here, but I just moved down here. There's just too much killing going on down here. I don't know what's going on either, but at the same time, you better stay prayed up, you better stay strapped up. Cause these people down here ain't playing and you better make sure, you better make sure you protect it. Cause like I told my kids that day we was um, driving down Broad Street and it was early that morning. I didn't even turn my camera on during that time. I was about to and I was talking to them about gun violence. Before you know, we heard them rounds. And I heard them rounds, I was like, oh my God, I hope nobody didn't got shot because the way somebody did the drive-by, it had been a drive-by, I don't know. But at the same time, I was like, man, we was in the mix of it, like um, literally in the mix of it. So all I can say is I just pray for those that then got killed through the gun violence, but at the same time, people just don't understand and know that they take a, they take a life, but they don't give a life. And that's the, that's the thing about life. So I just tell the lady, you know, I just try to take me and my kids until I die. And they can't take this girl to the street if they pass the law. It's just crazy to me. I don't know how they pass a law like that, but who knows? Who knows? I, I just don't understand either. I'm still lost and puzzled about that whole thing. Like they pass a law for people to get guns and they're just taking over. In certain cities and certain states, you got a number one rate where some people just um choose to kill because they can and it don't make no sense but i got laundry to do so i'm gonna go put this laundry in here and let y'all watch me do laundry today um once i do that i gotta do a restock again because we have no pit plates cups forks and spoons in the kitchen that i have to put some more in there because every time i put it in the kids find out where i put it they go in and they use it so i'm gonna have to now find another spot to put the pit plates and stuff instead of having it in my car i probably want to put it upstairs in my top of my closet or that closet right there in the um, hallway. Stack everything up there because they, they, they don't go in there. So that's probably what I do when I do this restart video. But I'm going to do that later after I do laundry. I try to do laundry early in the morning. Um, that way I can get it done. But if I do it later in the afternoon, it'd be extremely packing. Here. But I hope you guys continue enjoying the vlog. Oh, I tell you, boy. And I'm tired and I ain't got no money on me. I'm going to go to the ATM.
totally forgot about that one. So now I gotta get off the get off of here and go to the ATM because I have no cash on me at all. So I gotta find the ATM right quick. I came all the way here too. I might as well throw the clothes in there, right? And then come back up to the ATM. That's what I'm about to do. I might have been to take all the big machines and I'll be mad. So I'm about to go put them in there now. Matter of fact, I forgot they got an ATM in the inside. Damn, I'm lucky. They got an ATM in the inside. So I'll take my card and the inside. And I'm about to get the money back off. So I'm about to get ready to haul ass and leave. All right, let's go on up in here, y'all. Let's do this right quick. Damn. Damn.
Museum because I'm not going to waste that way too. Stay and fold. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it in some food for them, and then I'll come back for the laundry. Hope you guys continue enjoying the vlog. So let me tell y'all some story time. Um, the little babies must have been playing on the air bed in the girls' room, and must be accidentally busted during bed because the air keep going out of it. And I told them when they first got it. Right now we're starting from the bottom again. Y'all gonna have to lay on these air beds and don't let the kids bust them. I guess eventually they don't bust them. So now I'm headed to Walmart because I had been in order their bed online. I had to pay it, I pay it off. Pay off, pay it. I had already had it online in my little cart. So I went ahead to pay it off and it's ready for pickup. So what I did was I got one for Kaya and one for Leah by themselves. Because they had the queen size where they were sleeping on it together. And Leah was the one taking over the bed because Kaya usually be, be on the floor. So I went ahead and got an, another one. But I, this time I got full ones. One for Kaya, one for Leah. And I tell my I said, if y'all break it this time, y'all pop it or whatever, let these kids get on this bed, it's going to be on y'all. So I'm not going to keep constantly buying things over and over again. Like when I tell people, I was like, man, kids always damage things and doing things. I just simply said, I spent my money on this air bed for y'all to lay on. I got one, y'all got one, the boys got one apiece. Take good care of it until we get the mattresses for y'all to get for y'all bed. Hard head make a soft ass. So now I'm going now. That's why I'm documenting this shit right now. So I can go back on my business. Like, I remember what day I bought them beds on. When we first moved in our place, I bought them air mattress. They had air mattress when I first moved in because everybody had beds. I had already done pick them up and put them in the bed. I'm going now to pick up these air beds from Walmart. Gotta call that number when I get there to get these beds. They already text me and say it's ready. These girls bet not tear these beds up. Cause it's right here, right there. Walmart pick up curbside, right there. On my way now, I'm going to get these beds. Lord, please don't let these kids pop these beds. And I know Leah, I know 
how she's gonna look at TV and lay down on hers. You know, but like, them getting them babies jumping, you can't jump on those things. Like, they, there's nothing to play on. It's just air beds. So, here we are, right? What a Walmart. So, we guys can see on the floor. Damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn off the camera. Hit the hell out of them. Alright, so we at Wally's World. Now people be crossing the road and shit. That's what they do. And I do the same shit too. They go to Marin. They're coming out bringing somebody home. Um, groceries, dude. Try to do it online and see what it does. Sometimes I'm trying to work this body down. Ain't never my stomach though. Hey, that was about so hot. You ain't drinking today. Online must be can't be working. Hey, I'm in number 15. I'm Shanika Grant. How are you? You said day 15? I'm, I'm um, in 15. Alright, you got it, Shirley. Alright, thank you. It take that long to come. I'm gonna go ahead and put these videos together while I wait, y'all. Mm. That's the slow cooker back there. Just the screen and stuff in here. And the spoons and stuff. I guess they don't have the beds um, right now. Cause I gotta come back. I don't know, cause they said the beds were ready, but they said the order was ready. All right, so I guess I'll come back and pick the beds back up then. The beds supposed to be ready. I guess they have it ready in a little bit. Cause they only brought the crock pot out and the spoons and all that stuff that I had and my screen and stuff. I definitely need my crock pot put some damn meats in there and they cook overnight. But they don't have the beds ready yet. So it must've what the other order is. I gotta come pick up um, this afternoon. All right, so I'm waiting on them to send them beds back on in because they haven't had those. I was waiting on those, but it's the crock pot, so I got me a brand new crock pot because my other one went out. So we got to head back to get the food and the laundry and the Dollar Tree. Mm. So we have the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, I'm about to park right here under the tree. <laughs> park 
park right in front of the tree. Wow. Underneath the tree. All right, so about to walk inside. Get ready to head inside the store here. I might as well get everything I need while I'm in here. So let's go ahead, y'all.